Okay. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We are a fiber arts channel. Kind of, do, I do vlogs and like lifestyle and challenges along the way, um, but we do mostly do knitting. <laughs> For this video, I want to, I guess, welcome in the new year, uh, 2022. Uh, this is my first video of 2022, so that's really fun. And I thought this just, just fit and made sense. This is the Louvre sweater I'm wearing. She's a beauty, I blocked it. Um, this is with Simply Worsted from Knit Picks. I'll put it in the description. Uh, it is nice. It is very turtlenecky. Like, it takes up my entire neck. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel really turtly. But then when I pull it down, it's like not cute. Okay, anyway, we wanted to look sophisticated for this video, but I'm very warm, so I don't know. I guess another update, uh, we hit 50k, uh, on the channel, which is like... <laughs> again super unreal everything is unreal i don't know what's happening ever um but thank you guys so much for the support it really it does really mean a lot to me and you guys are honestly so sweet i'm so happy with the community that we made um in like from this year it really doesn't make sense and like i remember like feeling so crazy when i hit like 10k and just i think that's like when i started the discord and just seeing where it is now it's really really cool we will Get on with the video and I tell you guys all the things that I have for 2022. I keep saying that I'm gonna do things uh, here and there in a bunch of vi videos, but I think it's nice to have this like one video where I say it all and we can keep myself accountable and I can look back at this one time where I said I was gonna do things and see that I haven't done them <laughs> and then get, and then like get sad and then try to do them again. So this will, I guess, be separated into kind of two parts we're going to talk about kind of more vague more value oriented um, goals and then more specific goals that I would like to achieve for my vague goals <laughs> I love that I'm calling them that number one okay I want to be more intentional so with there's so many things that could mean I want to be more intentional with the things that I put out here on YouTube so in 2021 I was very much just kind of like throwing things and hoping that they would stick. Um, and usually they did, but like now looking back at them, I'm like, oh, what was I doing? <laughs> like I want to be really proud of the things that I do. I really want to like think things through, like put in all this work and be really satisfied with the final outcome. I mean, like if you look at all my videos, like I'm so rambly, it's like so crazy. Um, but I wanna be more intentional with the work that I put out there. So whether that be like Instagram posts, YouTube, kind of um, typical bliss itself and just like putting out things that I um, have, in, like that I'm intending to put out there and be really proud of. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm gonna ramble anyway on this video, so I hope it's okay. Um, but I found that uh, when I was first like posting and um, kind of, how do I say this? Like making patterns, like I wasn't really doing it the right way. I was kind of just like writing them as fast as I could and then putting them out there and then hoping people would like them because everyone was asking for them. And I just, I had no idea what to do because I was so new. And like now looking back and having, um, I guess, experience. Um, there's just like so many things I wanna change. Uh, and so hopefully the plan is, is to revamp everything and you know put out a brand that I'm really proud of. Being intentional kind of has to do with all aspects of my life. So um, another one would be like knitting and um, I guess like crocheting and all, you know, fiber arts and being more intentional with my stash. So I, I also found in 2021, looking back, I was making lots of, you know, buying lots of acrylic and just like kind of going with the flow, knitting kind of whatever I thought was the most trendy and the, like what would get me the most views. That's not necessarily like the way I want to be going um, just because that was very much like me trying to get viral and like getting like popular. Um, but looking back now, like a lot of those pieces I don't think I would ever wear and um, it, they're not really, I guess, me now. Um, and so I really want to be very intentional with my knitting, very intentional with the yarn that I buy. Again, 2021, we were buying a lot of yarn. Um, I was very impulsive because I just wanted to knit. <laughs> um, and, you know, like working with natural fibers and moving towards that was very devastating. Um, but 
also a blessing in disguise because we love natural fibers and I really want to get away from acrylic. Yeah, and like I want to be more intentional with my stash, kind of not buy things because they're just on sale, but also kind of think about like what I have, what use for, what things, and using up my stash because I just have so much yarn that I just haven't worked on yet. So I, the plan is, is to get at least 50% of my stash down before I continue buying. Um, but again, that's not gonna be super strict. I'm not like gonna hate on myself uh, if I do buy a yarn here and there, but I want to definitely de-stash before we go crazy <laughs> again. Um, but yeah, again, I wanna be more intentional with my knitting. I wanna make more pieces that I know I'll just kind of wear more on a daily basis or something that I know that I can keep forever. That's hopefully the plan for like all the pieces that I make in the future, kind of pieces that I know that I will love and I can cherish and keep forever. Um, and that's why I love natural fiber so much, like wool, <laughs> so nice. <laughs> like this sweater, like oh, all my nice sweaters, like I know I'm gonna love so much. I also wanna use up a lot of my scrap yarn. So the plan is, is to like, to use most of my yarn and then use what scrap yarn I have for other projects that I have in mind. I guess these are kind of like more mindset goals, if that makes any sense. Um, last one, I want to be more consistent. So I am really bad with keeping habits and keeping up with goals, kind of keeping up with the schedule. Um, you know, with school and stuff, it's like a forced schedule on you and you kind of just have to do it, but um, I want to plan ahead and stick to it instead of, I'm very much someone who will kind of do things based off my mood and not really think about the time. And then it's like four hours later, I'm like, where did the day go? I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be very conscious of the things that I do and um, kind of how I spend my time. Like, I guess like as a sub goal from being consistent, I want to take better care of myself. So I guess, again, it all kind of encompasses together. I'm not very good at like self-care. I guess consistent self-care. Like I wanna do my skincare kind of on a daily, kind of take care, take better care of my body and my, my skin and my mind um, and kind of know when to shut off. I find that I can find, <laughs> I can find myself just like knitting and doing that for hours, like 24 hours uh, a day and uh, it's definitely not good for me and I think I definitely need to know when to stop. Um, I want to be more active, kind of consistently work out, or at least just like stand more. I'm just sitting in this desk all the time. I know it's definitely not good uh, just watching anime all the time. So we want to be better with that. Like drinking water, like I cannot for the life of me drink two liters of water a day. It just like cannot be done, um, but I wanna get better. Like I want to start doing those types of things, you know, like putting sunscreen on every day, putting on like retinol to like prevent me from aging, you know, like things that you have to be very consistent on and you might not see immediate um, like results right away, but doing those things so that I'm like better off in the future in the long run. And another one, like eating habits as well, just a lot of things I would like to, I would like to create better habits and better goal setting <laughs> and scheduling. So do I know how to do that? No, but we'll like figure out a way and that's, it's gonna happen. I say this now, it's gonna happen. Um, if it doesn't happen, it's gonna happen. So, <laughs> okay, now I guess on to more specific goals, more, uh, tangible things um, for me and for Typical Bliss. One thing I guess is my goal is to do this full time, at least for this year. I don't know uh, where I'll be next year, but at least for this year, I want to put my everything into Typical Bliss and see what comes of it and see kind of if I can push myself to kind of achieve more than I ever thought I could. Hopefully things will go okay. Um, I'm not too sure how this will go, but like last year, I guess I kind of was doing this already full time, but I went to school uh, for half of the year. So this very much felt like a hobby and it was very evident 
in like my work ethic because I kind of just kind of threw things out there and kind of just like did whatever but I want to treat this more like a business I know a lot of people say to treat this more like a hobby uh, because you don't want to turn your hobby into the business because then you'll lose kind of that feeling you get from just doing something as a hobby versus like doing something because it makes you money um but I kind of want to there's a word to sow roots I want to like build a foundation. I want to grow this channel and I want to grow the business. I want to create something of myself, but at the same time, like I don't want to lose or like be untrue to myself. I want to make things that I want to. And like, if I don't want to make something, I'm not going to force it. Um, and I'm only going to put out things that I like and I want to put out. I'm not going to just do it because um, I want to make more money, you know, and I don't think that's ever how I want to think of this <laughs> ever. Um, I kind of just want to be happy with the stuff that I put out. What more can I say? And with that, we want to rebrand the channel. I want to, or not the channel. I want to rebrand, I guess, um, my patterns. I want to make a website, kind of make this more official, um, I really, really want to start selling physical items. So not necessarily like knitted items, but more like trinkets. I'm looking into hand dyed yarns because um, I think it would be so fun. I like really want to experiment. Other things I want to sell, like I made stickers. <laughs> if you guys saw in my Blissmas video, I was making stickers. I don't remember why I started making st stickers, but I made one. It's so flipping adorable. I am so in love with it. <laughs> I already put one on my water bottle, so hopefully I'll drink more water, but um, I, it gets me so excited doing these things. So um, the plan is to get at least three out before I sell them. And I also want to get all of my knitted stuff uh, sold, so hopefully I can get the website out. But I'm super picky with how it looks. I don't know why. I'm just like, it needs to be like matching. Everything needs to match and everything needs to be perfect. It's so gross of me um and then like having to take pictures of everything and like post it you know i'm just so picky it's so gross um with this because i feel like i don't know maybe i'm making it too much of a big deal and making it, maybe i'm putting too much pressure onto myself but that's good because um then i'm only putting the things out that i'm proud of instead of just like throwing something there and then putting it out okay anyway i have been thinking about it i think it'd be really cool to make like a newsletter uh, i don't know if i'll do it every week but kind of whenever there's something i want to like let you guys know on just have like a little newsletter because it's really weird to kind of announce it on the youtube or like the youtube community like post kind of just like want to give you guys more like official updates but also kind of like things that i've been loving books i've been reading because i said i wanted to do a book club but i honestly don't think i have enough time to do that um but i think i have enough time to tell you what books i'm reading um kind of each month or bi-weekly um and kind of like yarn i'm loving patterns i'm loving all that stuff and updates on a lot of the pieces that i'm working on so hopefully i can get that working and up and like low-key like low-key like i would love if i could do like a monthly patreon and kind of uh, have you guys support me but also like give like sell you guys kind of like a monthly like subscription of like if I like dyed a yarn every month and then send it over. I have too many ideas, it hurts. Okay, so that would be a dream, but I have to figure out packaging and like shipping. It's so annoying, but I've been spending so much time looking into it and I, oh, I need to do it. So I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting everything in this video. If I say it out loud, it's gonna happen. So those are some tangible things that I would like to get done. For more personal things, uh, I really want to get into sewing and trying out different fiber arts. I really want to get into weaving. That is like another thing that is just in my mind. Um, but specifically sewing, um, I want to start, I guess, learning how to sew and then eventually start sewing some clothing. Like I want to start making more like me made stuff um, and kind of moving towards that. Just gaining a new skill, I would like to open myself up to new experiences and new skills. I would love to also learn how to do like pottery, but that's like a whole nother thing. Another thing I would love to get more into is like homestead or homesteed. I don't know how you say it, but I have been really into it beforehand, but recently I find I really don't want to like shop at like 
like a Walmart or a superstore or anything like that. I just want to like make my own things and I don't know like what has been like rewired in my brain recently, but I have just been on this weird kick of like wanting to like make my own soaps, make my own like lotions. And wouldn't that be so cool if I could sell them? Okay, anyway. Um and getting into like more stuff like that because uh, I got a comment on a video about shampoo bars and like I bought one from Lush and it's my life now. I wash my hair every three days, which is amazing. I would like to be more independent and rely on myself kind of thing. Um, and I think it's really fun. That's also just another thing. I just love making things. It's just really fun. So uh, hopefully I can do more of that stuff. Uh, and then lastly, I want to support more small businesses. Again, yeah, just not really loving big corporations for some reason. I'm just weird like that. Um, but also, I don't want to get upset with myself if I break that or if I can't stick to like doing that. Like if I do end up like having a shop at like a large business, I don't want to hate on myself or get down. I don't want to be too hard on myself because I do find that people can be quite <laughs> intense about it. Um, but I just want to be more, again, intentional. I don't, but I don't want to, I, I don't want it to be like a burden, if that makes sense. So, um, with that, yeah, like small businesses, I've been like really into supporting like other small creators on YouTube. I don't know. It's just been really fun. <laughs> Uh, shipping hurts, but it's like been really fun. Uh, and I never used to do it before, but I think I've definitely realized um, how fun it is being a small creator myself. Yeah, hopefully I'll show you some buys that I get. Like literally, I just like, like I just want to be upgrading. Like I want to grow. I just want to be who I want to be. <laughs> like I don't want to just like, I want to have like main character vibes. I don't want to just like be on Instagram and or like TikTok and just like look at these people and be like, oh my God, like I wish I like lived their lives. Like I wish I had their stuff or their clothes. Like I just want to go out and do it and get it. You know, I want a girl boss my way to the top. <laughs> no, I don't want to like be someone else. I want to be me and I want to be happy with it. So uh, we be upgrading. Um, and we'd be glowing up always. So um, I guess it's the end of my spiel. Um, I hope you guys stayed to the end of the video. I hope this was good. We'll never know. Um, but those are kind of things that I want to do, things that I'm putting out into this world and hopefully um, we can get shit done. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can catch me on Instagram, TikTok, because another one of my goals, like low key, like I wasn't gonna say anything, um, but I'm planning on posting more on TikTok. So I wanna post at least like every day, kind of just like getting ready with me every day. I've, I've seen a lot of those where people will just like literally just get ready, but I think it would make me more consistent with uh, getting ready for the day, feeling like, um, cause I, I just live in my PJs. If you guys have seen my Twitch streams, I've been wearing the same sweater for like weeks on end and that's not okay. Like I want to start like getting ready and like feeling like today is a new day and changing, you know? So hopefully that can keep me accountable and I think it'd be really funny. We stream on Twitch. I'm doing productivity streams now on the Tuesdays, uh, 12 p.m. PST. Hopefully, I don't know if we'll do it every week, but I'll try to be more consistent. I want to keep myself, keep myself accountable, but also keep you guys accountable and you guys can work with me and I think it'd be really fun. Yeah, I think that's all the things. You can also join the Discord. We talk about a bunch of fiber stuff. So um, yeah, if you guys like the video, like, subscribe, comment, you know, click the notification bell if you want to be notified about the videos. Okay, you know what? I hate myself. Okay, anyway, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.